说洛杉矶之前有雾霾，你们是怎么治理好的呢？ Yeah, when I first moved here, it was pretty gray. 80 in the late 80s, I, they started regulating gasoline. They started making different kind of cars. They started getting different kind of buses. They've done a pretty good job. And then through the 90s, it started really clearing up. Yeah, I would assume it probably took 10 years at least. Hi, my Chinese friends. I have an interesting question for you. I know there are many dialects, communities, nationalities in China, yet you all seem to get along fine. Teach us. 这个问题呢，我可以用一首歌来回答。五十六个民族，五十六枝花，五十六个兄弟姐妹是一家。因为我本身也是少数民族的嘛，国家给了我们非常非常多的优待，不会因为我们人少而放弃我们。Hello， 我的美国朋友们，你们知道中国长城吗？你们对它了解多少 ？Yeah， I was like a thousand years ago or something， or even more。Um， and the Huns， they were。Or the Mongols, or people try to raid Chinese. So, they out of to protect, you know, to fortify the country. I think that's why they built the wall. Hello, my Chinese friends. I have a question for you. What's the reason that you choose Los Angeles, California? Is there any unique specialty that this place offers you? Los Angeles. Go to Los Angeles, eat pizza. 没有没有的。其实，在我看来啊，洛杉矶可能。中国人多哈、啊，可能是因为它的什么环球影城啊，或者是迪士尼啊，那个比较多，好玩的地方，或者是电影工业比较发达吧，去那里看看，呃，一个电影是怎么制成的，还有那个它的气候，其实听说也挺迷人的。以后啊，我要有机会的话，我也去一下，是不是？美国挺好玩的。Hello， 我的美国朋友，你有性幻想对象吗？他是谁？说出来吧。Yeah， Kylie Jenner. She's like so sexy. Yeah. I like her nice tits. Hi， my Chinese friend. I have a question. What do like Chinese kids do in like China? Like, do they talk about like sexual intercourse and like Kylie Jenner? Uh, 会谈论的，但是谈论一般就是比较隐晦，不会那么露骨。主要是还是对这个事情比较好奇。我觉得就是中国这个性教育普及做的不太好，所以他们想好奇呢，又没有得到那个答案，所以就会一直去讨论。如果这个性教育普及做得好一点的话，我觉得他们会减少一些青少年无知的错误之类的。Hello， 美国的朋友们，你们会在意男朋友的那个尺寸小那个尺寸小吗<笑> ？I mean, maybe if it's like tiny, then that wouldn't be great. Besides that, no. Hi, my Chinese friend. My question is, what type of music do you listen to when you get broken up with? 分手的时候就一定是心情最不好的时候，而且分手了嘛，就是内心还是会比较生气，所以我一般都会听梁静茹的那首《分手快乐》。分手快乐，请你快乐，你不会找到更好的，知道吗？你不会找到更好的哦。Hello， 我的美国朋友们，请问你们如何看待嫖妓这件事呢？ Well, for starters, I'm not an American. I am from Amsterdam, Europe, where we are really used to seeing prostitutes in the red light district. We have that area, so for me, well, it depends. You know, everybody has their own opinion. You can look at it this way: either they have a way that they like to earn money, or in some other countries, they are pressed to work for money. And they flee away from the country to have it anywhere else, a bit better than where they're from. And in their opinion, that's probably the only way to make money. So a prostitute, yeah. Well, if you like doing what you're doing and you can make money, do you go ahead? It's up to them. Hi, my Chinese friends. I have a question. Do you guys have like a red light district in China or like a red area for prostitutes? <laughs> 